Hi, and welcome to Think Ink Factory Sri Lanka. Think Ink Factory make graphite products for you, but we also mine graphite. And one of the strange graphites that we've mined is this. Now this is a natural graphite product, but it contains in it some strange inclusions that make this graphite almost like a metal. So instead of breaking it, you can bend it and you can peel it apart. Now we're selling this graphite for £1.52 for one gram of it. And you may get a large crystal like this. You may get a slightly smaller crystal like this. But you will have a mix of large and small crystals. Now this graphite is very strange because it comes apart in sheets. So as it travels, it will come apart in a sheet like that. And that's okay. It's the size of cross you want, not the thickness. Now as I said, this graphite is very strange in that it will bend like a metal and peel apart like a book. And it's also diamagnetic. Now, diamagnetism means that it will float on a magnet. And all you have to do to see that is take a piece of your graphite, put it onto a flat surface, and rub it so that it's flat, and then pop it onto a magnetic bed. And I'll show you the magnetic bed next. So, here is our magnetic bed, and we have four magnets here, painting north, south, north, south. And you take your diamagnetic graphite, give it a rub, pop it on the magnetic bed, and as you can see, it's floating above the bed. Now, that is fantastic in itself, but wait till you see the next project. So for our next project, we need five of these things, and these things are ring magnets. Now, they're 2.4 centimetres across, and in the centre, they've got a 0.8 centimetre hole, and they're magnetised north-south, so it's north on the top face, south on the bottom. We also need a chip of our diamagnetic graphite, and we also need some ordinary disc magnets. Now I've chosen these for the same, the same thickness, and that's 2mm thickness. All you do is you pop the disc magnet into the centre of the ring magnet. Now the disc magnet will want to lie like that naturally because of the magnetisation, and then once it's like that, if you flip it over, it will want to go into the centre, turning that over in a small press, and you'll have your magnet made. You do that with three more of them, and you make yourself a little stack like that. Now the fifth one you attach to the bottom, but you don't put a disc magnet in there. So there are five ring magnets and four disc magnets in there. Now the next thing you're going to need, apart from your chip of graphite, is some kind of lens for focusing the sun. Now I've got this, which is a Fresnel lens, and what we're going to do is take this out and focus the sunlight onto that chip. And there it is spinning in the sunlight. And there you go, rotating in mm. the sun at oh, different speeds. How quick is that? Look at that kid go. Look at the baby go. <laughs> there you go. How cool is that?